Hi everybody, it's Lori from Pink Cloud Scrappers and Close to My Heart. And today we're going to be doing this fall card with the first thing that we're going to do. Um, we are using one of our Colonial White uh, base card stocks here. This is a little bit of the off-white. It is four and a fourth by five and a half and these are the ones you can get in bulk. Um, and then we're also using the main paper that we're just cut. And I've gone ahead and cut this. Your measurement on this one is five and a half by four and a fourth, just like the card. Um, but this is from the Twitter painted line. And I think the Twitter painted line is really, really cute. It's in the new catalog from Close to My Heart, the uh, fall winter for 2009. Anyhow, okay, so here we go. First thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to roll back, and I used my Herma glue there so that if I got a little too much down, I can just rub it right off. It's the removable kind. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll back a little section, just kind of get it rolling, and you'll go there to give that roll on our card. And once you get it, you'll be good to go. And that's it. And then you can kind of come in if you want to. Um, and, and add your glue. For this, I'm actually going to add a little bit of permanent glue. Um, helps if you do it the right way, uh, but that way it'll, it'll stay down a little bit better. Um, <laughs> but we're just going to roll that right up onto itself right like that. And it's going to give us this nice little little roll here, which is a, a little design feature. Um, the next thing that we're going to do actually is I'm going to put just a little tiny snippet on both ends of our card. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our hemp and cut off a little section of that. And then I'm going to roll that through. And what we're doing is with those little, um, little areas that I cut, we're basically just making a little well for the little twill or hemp to go right into because I don't want it to roll on this with it being a, um, a round sort it would tend to roll to the back basically so we're wanting to do that and then you can just tie it right off and that's got that little design feature you can do a bow I did that on the first card or you can just do a little knot whichever you prefer I actually kinda like the knot better Alright, so now we're going to get right into the stamping here, and the set, I'm actually going to use two sets today, but the first set that I'm going to use is called Many Thanks, um, and I will be putting the order numbers on the, uh, sorry, I'm not holding it in the screen there, I will be putting the order numbers um, in on the, the screen for you to see. So oh, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this cute little stamp that's down here in the corner. I'm just going to put this, I'm actually probably using a block that's a little bit too big to be honest, but that's okay, life will go on. And we are using Sweet Leaf, which is a staple of colors, I'll be honest, I use Sweet Leaf almost in everything it seems, and Chocolate is the other one that we're going to be using. And I'm just going to go ahead and punch that because we're going to pick it up. And so we're going to stamp, stamp, twist, twist, stamp, stamp. And then go in with your little sponge dauber, pick up a little bit of your color, and what we're going to come in and do is just ink our edges of the stamp. And so this will give a nice little variegated look. And I'm going to come right in here, if you can see what I'm doing. And it just gives that two-tone effect, which I think is really, really nice. Kind of looks like the leaves are changing and green starting to come off and the browns. This set has some really pretty bigger leaves that you could you could do gorgeous cards with um, browns and reds and greens and such. Okay. All right, so there we go on that. And then we're going to take our little acorn here, our little guy. And on my original card, I actually did it all in brown, but I think on this one I'm going to do the green on the bottom, and I'm going to come in and just ink up my little acorn shell there so he'll be brown. And then he's two-toned also, which is nice. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side for just a second, and we're going to get to work on our um, middle piece. And we're going to use the border that is also 
from Many Thanks. We're going to use this one right here. And ink up here. And then we're going to come right in. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom section. Okay, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip all my edges. Now, close to my heart's cardstock core um, is white. So that adds, as I've said before in a previous video, that can add a really nice dimensional element to your paper um, that you can see that little bit of white. And actually today it's going to help us a little bit because we're going to come back in and, that's right, ink our edges. Um, and it'll make that brown actually pop just a little bit more. So I really appreciate all the feedback. I've gotten several suggestions um, on my videos. I'm not going to get that last little piece there, it doesn't look like. But I am, by golly. Um, and I appreciate all of them, I really do. I hope that you will continue um, to send me suggestions and ideas. And if you aren't seeing something good or have a suggestion, send it my way. Because I really do pay attention to that. And I, I appreciate the time that you take to, to send that to me. So, okay, now we've got that all done. We're going to come back. There again, we're going to punch, get that ink on the inside. Take our sponge dauber, load it up, and just come in and kind of ink that little edge there. You can see what I'm doing. There we go. So now we are going to stamp our acorns. And um, there are two different little acorn caps, and I actually used both of them on this. So going to take this and this just fits. It'll fit actually pretty good on a little one by one block is what I'm, I'm using here. So I'm going to ink that up and this one I just want solid actually. So there's one. And then we're going to come in and do the other one. Okay. And then what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to stamp um, our base acorn. I guess the, and I'm just using the sweet leaf here that I'm inking it up. And there again, I'm going to come back in on this one with the brown. And just ink up my edges there. So it's going to get that nice shaded look. And then I'm going to turn around and do it again. And do that. Okay, and I did this just on a little scrap piece of sweet leaf. This is the color of cardstock that I'm using on this, it's the sweet leaf. And I'm going to use it. I then cut out these little shapes, and I went ahead for the sake of time and cut those out for you. I will, anyhow, okay, guys, so I've just cut those out. I've put little pop dots on the back just to give a nice little, little dimension there to my card. And then I'm also going to put some pop dots. Now, these are some of our old pop dots. Um, we do have new pop dots. It's not really pop dots anymore. It's foam tape. And um, I'll be honest, I like the foam tape a lot better. But I still have these, so I'm going to use them up, by golly, because that's what a good girl does. So I'm putting my four on there. Good to go there. Going to get my base card and pop that on. Now, the very last thing that I'm going to show you is a great set that I'm absolutely in love with. This is a new one, and this is called Made with Love. And all of these have different Made with Love, you know, created by, designed by, just for you by, and you can sign it. The one we're going to use today is hand stamped, especially for you. I'm just going to open our card up to the back here. You can do this anywhere you want. Some of them, as I said, you actually stamp them and then you can sign, you know, do your signature. So then that's really cute. So when you send it to somebody, they don't think, hey, you just went to a craft show and bought this card. You actually took the time to make it for them. So that's pretty nice. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you next time and have a great week.